the best teams from Conference USA. Pressure, Green delivers right on the money, and that slant with the run after catch is going to get Marshall a first down. Just under five minutes to go in quarter number one. Dave Fleming, Jim Mora, Paul Carcaterra, and a fake with the quarterback keep, and Green who's got that speed. That was a nice move. He took a big hit and gets shoved out of bounds. Converted a third and nine and a third and ten on this drive after starting inside their own ten. They will get the ball on the outside to Tyler King. Well, the ball came out. Extra effort. I don't think they blew the whistle. Now, Boise State should have recovered that one. The question is, did they? If they didn't, that would be some shades of last yeah. week in Florida State, but they did. They pounced on the ball and a turnover. They're going to bring a linebacker here. Let's see. Bachmeyer throws and a man wide open. He missed him. He took a hit. Khalil Shakir was all alone. Last week at Tallahassee, his first game at Boise State, his kick is up and it drifts to the right. No good. So the first miss of his Boise State career from 49 yards. And so far, still nothing, nothing. With a play fake and Green flips it down the right sideline. There is Xavier Gaines. For a big game, got upended at the end of it, but inside the 35, all the way down to the 30. Hard to find him. And they couldn't there. Hand off. And a big hole on the left side, straight up the middle. And Brendan Knox inside the 15. Not quite first and goal, but another big gain for the Thundering Herd. On their offensive line, it's a good unit. Knox gets another carry and a burst into the end zone for a touchdown. Brendan Knox has put Marshall ahead. 13 yard touchdown run. That was impressive. Third and five. A little short drop. And that throw over the top. Back shoulder. Did he get the foot down? Yes. Khalil Shakir, who looks like he's turning into a big time playmaker. That's a first down. Boise State going for it. They put Bachmeyer in the shotgun. And he's going to throw the ball with some pressure coming. And Bachmeyer will fling it up. Incomplete. So Marshall brings pressure. Bachmeyer goes down and the thundering her defense with another stop. Do have another good back, Halani. Play fake to him. Bachmeyer down the middle and a catch by the tight end. John Bates outside the 40. That's a big play. First down, Boise State. Good young back. Not playing too fast. You get plenty of time. One timeout for the Broncos. And that pass tipped up. Halani caught it. I don't know if he thought maybe, maybe it was a backwards pass, because that cost Boise State a bunch of yardage. Mm -hmm. Marshall showed some pressure, really didn't bring a whole lot of extra pressure, but nobody was open. Bachmeyer spins forward, and it's going to depend on the spot. He, I think he got there. So across midfield, first down, and a little pitch play coming left side with speed to the corner. That's Shakir inside the 30. Shakir picking his way inside the 10, all the way inside the 5. This kid can play the sophomore from the same hometown as Hank Bachmeyer. I think they do. I think they do. Bachmeyer is going to keep it. Bachmeyer oh. dies for the touchdown. Why throw it when you give it to Hank? I tell you what, the true freshman, he does have some guts. Yes, he does. <laughs> if you don't get there, if, I don't if, think you get points. You go into half with zero. Not a typical <laughs> true freshman performance so far. Yeah, that touchdown run was kind of like a do-or-die play. They did not have a timeout, and so he comes out slinging it on the first play of the second half. Arm target across midfield to his second tight end, Garrett Collingham. On third and nine, across midfield, first drive of the second half. Broncos trying to get this offense going. In the pocket, and a strike throw right on target. Hightower to the end zone. Touchdown. Well, it's a great story, and Paul continues to be a big part of this Boise State program. And that was 20 years ago. Time has passed here. Leading by a touchdown. True freshman quarterback Hank Bachmeyer, who's starting to spin it, and he's starting to find some receivers that are open. John Bates with the catch and run, the tight end for another Boise first down. We're going to see those guys standing right next to each other a lot over the next few years. 
And then with all those glowing words, a bad snap and a big loss on first down. Carson's a good center. A rare mistake from him. Bachmeyer dancing around and gets hit from behind. He goes down. I think that's Marquis' couch who comes up with the sack. Maybe a pooch punt. Is that possible? Does uh, he'd be lined that? up deeper. Yeah. He steps up. Why not just heave it to the end zone? It is incomplete. I'm not sure he made that one catchable for Butler. Up down to two. Down to one. They get the ball snapped. Pressure immediately in the sack. And that's Curtis Weaver. Second and ten. Bachmeyer's going to throw it again. This time a quick hitter over the middle. And the move to get away from the first would-be tackler gets Boise State the first down. He's going to be okay, but he's obviously out this week. Third down and short. Pressure coming. Bachmeyer delivers, takes a hit, and right there for a first down. Man, and he pops back up again. This kid is something else. This is classic Hank Bachmeyer. Second and nine. Bachmeyer with a play fake. And that one tipped up and intercepted. That's Omari Cobb who comes away with a turnover. So the second straight time Boise State gets inside the 20 and they don't score any points. That tip ball turns into an interception. Bachmeyer in the pocket, steps up and the ball's out. He got hit from behind and Marshall has the football. A strip sack for the Thundering Herd and that's a turnover. We'll see. Isaiah Green in the pocket, pressured, and he's going to go down. Now that may take the decision out of Doc Holliday's hands. A sack for the Broncos defense, Dimitri Washington. But they'll eventually wear down. And time is going to be a factor here sooner rather than later. Going downfield, and that's a jump ball, and it is intercepted. Intercepted by the Broncos defense. Is that Nawahine? Yes, it is. What a great play. Bachmeyer with some pressure picked up. He's got time. And that throw is caught at midfield. What a big completion. A terrific catch by Khalil Shakir. We'll ask Brian. We'll be back here in a couple weeks. That's a completion. You're leaning on your true freshman very close, a little bit short. You don't want incompletions that stop the clock. Third and short. These plays have not been simple for the Broncos tonight. They're going to throw the ball. That tells you a lot. And Bachmeyer, the helmet gets ripped off. What a mistake that is. He was dead. That was going to be a sack and a huge negative yardage play. And instead, it's going to be a penalty against Marshall and a Boise State first down. Wow. Two timeouts remaining. They just stopped the clock. And Boise will hand it off. And a tackle with the lunge for the first down. Now the clock is going to move. I don't know. That was the tight end calling him coming around the end. This one's going to depend on the spot on third and three. And Halani will not get the ball. Bachmeyer keeps it. Bachmeyer! And we'll see where they put the ball down. They stopped the clock momentarily. The football ended up out. Marshall earned the respect tonight because they, they played. It. Oh really hard their yes, offense just could not do anything nope. and maybe the Broncos defense is largely uh, responsible for that but if uh, Boise State fans thought after the win against Florida State that this season was just going to be an easy cakewalk to an undefeated regular year tonight is a little bit of a wake-up call